man. You think that somebody cares about being liked by you? You think somebody care about you? Oh, if I think she cute, if I think she pretty, nigga, you was never my type, nigga. I ain't never looked at you like, oh, Javante, look good. You midget ass nigga, if you don't go somewhere. You think I care about you thinking I'm pretty? I'm engaged. I have a man. You can't keep a woman because you beat all your bitches up. Huh? You, you, you can't keep a woman. You be having all them of what you consider pretty girls be whooping their ass. Beating them up. Punching on them. Slapping on them. I'm just, I'm just going up on here on this space to let you know. That nigga, that, that this ain't what you want, nigga. You, you not bullying me up on no, up on no level. And if you want to speak facts, let's speak facts. First fact is you haven't accomplished half of what I accomplished. That's one. We can start from the amateurs to the pros. You ain't accomplished half of what I've accomplished. Nigga, if you ain't have Floyd and them right there holding your hand, I don't know where you would be at. Them niggas got to hold your hand, pick your fights for you. That's why you're never going to get inside the ring with Shakur. That's why you haven't fought Devin. That's why you fought a weight drain Ryan. I keep trying to tell you, like, this is not what you want. This is not what you want because now I got to hit you with the facts. And something that we're not going to pretend that we're in. We are not in uh, middle school. We are not in middle school where... um. How I look to you matters. Oh, if you think I'm cute. Like, do you pay my bills? Have you ever promoted a fight? Supported a fight? Never. This is the only attention that you have ever given to me. And I've supported you. So this is for you. To let you know, I, I really don't want to be cute to you. I'm glad you think that. I look like a French bulldog because you and a few of your family members look like some fucking Rottweilers. Let's keep it a G. Let's keep it a G. And you know what? You a sassy ass boy. You sassy as hell. You sassy. Focus on your training. Focus on your training and what you got to do. Because you got all these followers. They got 10 followers, 40 followers, 30 followers. Tweeting me every day thinking I care about you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think you think you're too, I think you're too full of yourself. And I have to bring you back down to earth a few notches. You're not what I consider all that. You're not the man to me. You're not um, the best in your weight class. I'm sorry to have to break it down to you. Now, on the other end, on the other end of the spectrum, your girl is pound for pound number one. I've done things you dreamed that you could do. And if I have to run it down to you, I will. Let's start from the amateurs. How many national titles did you win, Javante? Let's not all speak at once. Why didn't you go for the Olympics? Oh, you were just too good and you just had a professional style. Oh, okay. Um, let's start with the Junior Olympics where I saw you lose as a kid and try to fight the dude that beat you and the ref, Mr. Anger Problem. But your girl got most outstanding both years the Junior, the junior Olympics. Yeah, we, we were there together. I got most outstanding fighter and I also won all my fights there. So then let's just fast forward to, I don't know, World championships, you know, continental championships, Pan Ams. You've never been. You've never been. But guess who has been? Shakur. Guess who's been to the Olympics? Shakur. <laughs> Me and Shakur. Like, you haven't done anything but have somebody navigate you in the pros and give you great fights to make you look really good. And can and congrats. Congrats to that. But I'm here to let you know that you're not that guy to me. And you're not um, bullying me. You're not uh, making me feel any type of way. You actually got me laughing all the time. And I will say this um, and be done. I have bigger fish to fry. You know, you need to work on your anger management. You need to work on 
um, the, your domestic violence on how you be beating bitches up, you need to work on actually focusing on your fight and what you have to do because you do have a tough opponent in front of you. And um, I've already got my prayer warriors and everybody just already given praying that he has the strength to humble your little stupid ass because you need to be humble. And as we just continue, um, I mean, I wish you could say something else. Like, <clears throat> like what else can you say uh, that's actual facts about me? You don't know anything, not even a little bit. And I'm just laughing that all you can say is, oh, she's ugly. You're ugly to me. So now what? So it's about if, so what do you being ugly to me do for you? What do me being ugly to you do for me? You know, one thing it does is it protects me from an ass kicking. Because all the girls you think is fine, boy, oh boy, you, you, from the looks of it, you beat them up. But I want to let you know something, and I want everybody on here to know something. I'm not one of them. So you can keep yapping off at the mouth. I'll be out where I be out at. And you can feel how you feel, but one thing you never going to do is put your stupid ass hands on me. I'm not even worried about it. Not even a little bit. Not even a, I was, I was hoping, I was hoping to run into your little midget ass in Vegas. I was hoping. I was hoping for it. Because just like you talk your shit, I'm going to talk my shit, but I'm going to hit you where it hurt. I'm going to, see, I'm going to come with the facts. And the facts is... Nigga, you done had people holding your hands throughout this whole time. And now you biting the hand that feeds you. And then you trying to come at everybody. Go and get you some anger management and work on yourself. And work on yourself. I, I am happy that you think I look like a rock. Uh, like, what would you say? Um, uh, was it a pit bull or a French bulldog? It was one of them. But they say we all got a twin. And if I look like a um, French bulldog, you look like a fucking Rockweiler. You look like fucking Stewie. You look sassy as hell when you dancing. I don't give a fuck about nothing you got to say to me or about me. It means nothing at all. And you got a few people. You know, I see you got... See, your fan base is bigger than mine because Floyd done built you up for real. But I'm just here to let you know that um, none of that means anything to me. If If I had to worry about social media and how they felt about me, um, I would never been shit anyway. So it's the fact that I've always believed in me. I've always had a great team behind me. I've always believed in God and carried myself in that way. I don't let people fuck with me because I don't fuck with people. So I'm letting you know now that um, whatever you can dish, I can dish it back harder. And um, I find great gratitude that you keep giving me all this attention and you've never supported me. I've, I've, I've actually come up with this. First, you talked about my hair. And then you talked about my looks. And then you cracked the joke and said something about Joanna Man, who was really a man when I'm 100% woman. And you know what I have discovered throughout this whole thing of you saying things about me that aren't factual, but I'm like, he ain't going to speak no facts. You know, but what I've discovered is I, I think, I think you hate everything black. I think you hate everything woman. That's what I think. I think that one, I think you wish you were a woman because that's why you hit them. I think that you, um, are full of yourself and full of shit. And I think that you're intimidated by me. I don't know why, because you don't have to be. Um, I box against women and you box against men. And, you know, I got more world titles and more Olympic gold medals than you. But that's nothing for you to be intimidated by, you know. Um, just fight who you're supposed to fight. Like, you know, go and fight Lomachenko. You know, go and fight Inu. Go and fight Shakur. Fight Devin. You know, fight a not weight drain Ryan Garcia. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, go and fight those people. Yeah, go and fight them. And then we can really talk about, you know, when it's talking about greatness compared to greatness. Because if we compare your greatness to mine, 
It ain't even close. It ain't even close. But I'm going to let you know what I'm about to do. Just to give you a heads up. I I actually have a publicist, right? And we spoke this week. And she said, Clarissa, ignore him. Because you have bigger fish to fry. You have so many things coming up. And um, you have to be in a good light. That's what she said. And I told her I would do my best to try to ignore your little trolling, angry, um, what is it, angry, less accomplished trolling ass. That's what I told her. This was just, what, yesterday? So... I'm just trying to let you know that, you know, I have bigger fish to fry. And you will see why I actually decided to go on my spaces and talk shit to you. Because I get paid off of Twitter. So why not get paid off of this, you know? You're giving me so much attention. Why not make a, make, uh, make a quick buck? But on another note, um, I'm waiting for you to say something that's factual. You know, that actually, you know, makes sense. And for all you guys who are trying to troll for him with the 10 followers and the guys who just made your pages because you're Javante Davis fans and you guys want to jump on here and you guys want to say what you want to say. Um, listen, I can block y'all too. Just like I blocked him. You know, I blocked him because my, my publicist said, hey, we ain't got time to be responding to him. And she's right. I had bigger fish to fry. But it seems like every day he just keep coming and he wants my attention. So here you go. I said what I said. I meant what the fuck I said. I ain't taking none of it back. I ain't scared of you. I ain't worried about seeing you. Uh, you will see me when you when you uh, see me. And it is what it is. But uh, just know... Um, I don't, I don't give a fuck about nothing you talking about, why you talking about it, why you feel the way you feel, why you so obsessed with Ryan, why you so obsessed with Devin and Shakur. I don't give a damn. But one thing you're not going to do is think you're going to keep coming from me and I ain't going to say nothing to you. I think I just got you together pretty well. And I mean, that's all the time I got. That's all the time I got. So yeah, I'm going to take my fine. Uh, non having surgery ass, two time Olympic gold medalist, 13 time world champ, three time undisputed. Some shit you could never do. Shit that I'm saying is never gonna be on your resume. Um, you've never even been undisputed one time. Eek. Um, you know what? I see it's a bunch of requests on here. Um, Look at these stupid, re look at these requests. Real box talking. Uh, I think I got a real box talk on here. Speak your piece. Damn. Hey, what up? What up? What up, Gwen? What's up, dog? How you doing? I was doing good till this fucking midget start fucking with me. Hey, I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, Tank tripping. I don't know what got on, got into his little ass, but. He just like disrespecting our our black queens. Yeah, he disres. I, I don't know what's going on. I ne I never. I thought it was the women's job to 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 dick suck people. I didn't know it was the man's job. Yeah, he he overly doing it. He overly doing it. And you right when it comes to accomplishments and resume and everything as far as accolades, he nowhere near your level. You know? Nowhere near. But he nowhere had had near. a great back end and a great support. You know. Um, I mean, I had declined to get the stipend from Floyd Mayweather every month when I first turned pro. It was offered to me, too, you know, but I decided to take my 50K for my first fight and work my way up to a million from there, you know, but... They, they try to sign you? Yeah, 100%. What? Yeah, but I just, I, I wasn't... Rude. Yeah, I wasn't okay with the stipend every month. It was like, I, I need I need some paper. You know, and women's boxing back then, hey, that some girls would have, you know, been like, oh my God, yes. But um, it was like I had really 
was like trying to, you know, feed my family and stuff. And Word. I basically yeah. was like, hey, hey, I'll see you at the top, you know, and thank you for, you know, for, you know, wanting me to be a part of TMT, but I just needed more. You know what I'm saying? Which, uh, that's why I took the route that I took. But, hey, shout out to everybody who did sign with them, though, and do what they <laughs> did. But, um, if I, maybe I would have signed, maybe I'd be, maybe I'd be more known, or, or, like, maybe I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Because when you don't really know women's boxing and you don't, uh, promote it, you know what I'm saying? It's not really, um... Yeah, it's hard. It's hard yeah. for women. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard for sure. And but, I feel like I've done a I've done a great job. Just me, my team, my little small town promoter from Detroit. I feel like we've done a great job. And I've done a great job. And um that's all I can say. Yeah, about who, that. who who is your team? Who is your like my promoter who? is Demetrius Salida. Okay. Uh my manager is Mark Taffet, vice president. He used to be the vice president of HBO. And I got me a lawyer. That's, okay. that's basically been my been my team as far as in, in the boxing world, you know what I'm saying? Besides, like, I got, you know, publicists and, um, you know, managers who do this and do that. But basically for boxing, that's been, I've been with the small time promoter, Demetrius Salida. He's gotten bigger now. But when we started off, it was really just, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> and and take, Tank talking all that shit, that's good publicity. Like, all, pub, all publicity is good pl- publicity for real. Yeah, so. you know what? In a way, in a way, I just hate that, you know, guys who I have supported, like, I ain't got no beef with Tank, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, well, backtrack. I got beef with him now because don't disrespect me. <laughs> but before this, I didn't I didn't have no beef with him, you feel me? He just mad about anybody who um, backed Devin Haney or backed Shakur. And yeah. it's so weird. It's like, you know. It's uh, like tribal, tribalistic. It, it's real weird. Like, pick a side or. Yeah, it's but like, the thing is, like, how come we got to pick a side right now and y'all ain't even fought? And I've made it clear this whole time that I don't give a fuck who, Sha- who Shakur fight against. I'm Team Shakur. I have never been like, oh, if Shakur fight against Tank, I think Tank. It's always been if Shakur fight against anybody, Tank, Tia Fimo, Ryan, Devin, whoever, I'm Team Shakur. I think that he's better than all of them, you know, but still, Tank was number two under that. But it's like, he, he just, like, kind of obsessed like go to that nigga um man go to his twitter every tweet is about ryan or devin yeah. like bro you didn't even fight like nobody tested dirty against you you already beat ryan like why are you so concerned with this fight it's just like for no reason it's so weird yeah well, how would you rank them from tank devin and, and shakur like one to three how would you rank them no, it was always Shakur, Tank, Devin. Okay. Or like okay. Shakur, Shakur, Tank, Devin, Tia, Fimo, Ryan. Because I, you know, I guess it was like the four or five kings or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but now, man, people about to see. I ain't. I'm not ever. I'm not ever mentioning this dude in my pound for pound. No, nothing ever again. Like I, I don't. I don't have to mention him. But the fact that I that I do mention him, like some of my fans become his fans. But I'm, man. I don't. I don't do disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Cl- Clarissa, I don't but but he's not black really women. talking. He's not really saying shit though. Like he can't say nothing because it's like, like you said, like my re- your resume speak for itself. So it's like, oh, he gonna call you ugly. Like yeah, you like, five foot two, bro. Like like, like somebody wanna be cute to you up. when you beating bitches up. I don't wanna be cute to you anyway. And I'm already have the man that I wanna be with, who I'm about to get married to. It's like, like that's all but the you got a man. Yeah, man, come on now. Oh. You got to go yeah. to my Instagram. I always post my man. You breaking my heart. Okay. I've been engaged for two years. I ain't know that. Ain't You're know sick. That. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I ain't know that. <laughs> I was but like, no, right, you just my, like. My dog, Sonny, my dog Sonny missed his shot. You know what I'm saying? You know. Sonny didn't ever have no shot. <laughs> I actually. <laughs> no, but I was just like. Huh? Everybody oh, that's that nigga right here. Yeah, I'm already here. Well, no, um, what are you? Hold on, let me. Wait, so never mind. I ain't gonna ask you. <laughs> oh, that's funny as hell. Hey, but when you fighting? When you fighting, Alicia? Shit, when she 
beat up. Come her to one fifty four, cause I'm not going to forty seven for for her. Can you can't make forty seven? I mean, actually, I haven't made forty seven since I was sixteen. But why would I go down there just to benefit her? Because she's too small. I feel like if she's a smaller yeah. girl and she called me out, she should come up. You got the leverage, so you know. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely all on her. But I think she just woofing though. I, <laughs> she, you way too just big for her, and then also just better, like skillfully. So no, skillfully, hundred percent. But you know what? Um, if the fight was to happen, you know, she called me out. It'd be different if I was like, "Hey, I want to fight all the girls from one thirty to one sixty eight. You know what I'm saying? I would be the one to have to go down there. But it's like I already said, like, you know, the lowest I can go is 50, it's 54. But I mean, I've never tried 47. But it's like, why would I go down there to give her an advantage when she's the one? Right. Yeah. Me you the A side. You the A side, 100 percent No, for sure. But I think I'm fighting again July. The day to be announced soon. And location and everything. And then, you know. Uh, what is it? And the network and everything being known. But I'm about to go live with somebody else on here and answer more requests, and then I'm finna get off here because it's 1 15 in the morning here. All right, Clarissa, let me say one more thing. Just please don't let these haters get to you. Like, you know, they ain't gonna say shit except for the about your appearance and physical, the way you look, you know, because mm -hmm. that's all they can say because they can't criticize nothing else. So just don't for let sure. them get Appreciate to you. Okay? We know you beautiful. We know you the queen. So you the best. Just keep doing your thing. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. You take right. care. Yep. Bye. We have a few more on here. Uh, Toast Day, I think. Toast Daddy? Toast No, it's T O S T A T I. Oh, okay. Hey, girl. Hey. Okay. So, for one, you know your Chicago cousins love you. We love you. We Chicago love you. in a hove. You know that. Okay. For two, I just want to say, I don't like how he got this energy with you, but when him and Floyd was just going at it, it's like he tucked his tail some. He didn't have, like, the same type of energy that he just had with you. So, I don't like that. Like, go pop your shit with a nigga. Go pop your shit with a man like that. Why? He know y'all can't fight, basically, or nothing. So what's the, you know, what's the point of going there? I'm not understanding that. Listen, I didn't understand it either. Because I was like, why are you so concerned or mad at anybody who's like, dang, it's messed up that Ryan tested positive against Devin. Like, I mean, first of all, nobody really knows until all the testing and stuff goes, goes right. you know, gets done. But it's like, you know, I'm just as shocked as everybody else because I'm really a huge boxing fan. Like, I go to all the fights. It's not just the black fighters, but the Mexican fighters, the Hispanic fighters. Yeah. You know, I go to all the fights. So, I was there when Ryan beat Devin. And I could tell you, listen, nobody in the nobody in the room, in the arena, thought that thought that Ryan was going to win. So, it was I a did, huge I shock. I didn't think Ryan was going to win either. I'm not going to lie. I was so shocked, especially, like, he was knocking him down too many yep. times. Like, hey, I was not that was, expecting that shit. Listen, I was jumping up and down like, no way this is really happening. But, <laughs> but at the end of the day, though, I was still happy for Ryan. You know, yeah, he proved right. the world wrong. He shocked the world. And then, bam, here come the PEDs. But, like, he's innocent to proven guilty. I just don't understand how, like, Tank doesn't know if he's really innocent or not either. And he's just, like, all over. Yeah, he going hard. I've been seeing it. I've it's so seeing. weird. It's like, bro, you didn't even fight. Like, why he are you been so... tweeting about it since since the fight happened, actually. He been bro, if you go on his page, there's nothing but like, Devin Haney on there. It's just all Devin Haney, all Ryan. All Devin Haney, all Ryan. I'm just like, oh, my God. See, I thought... At first, I thought he I had thought a fight coming up. Building promo, I thought he was like promoing to like it's rematch Ryan or something. I'm like, what is going on here? Is this what he? I don't know. He just kept going, kept going. Yeah, and then like the worst thing he can say is like, "Oh, you look like a French bulldog." Oh, he you look to... like this. It's like it's like tank, tank, tank. You look like a fucking Rockweiler, and yeah. I don't want to be cute to you, and. You need to work. First of all, can you even keep a woman? Look, it is no secret. He be beating his girlfriends up. It's already out there. It be out there. It do be so, out there. 
God. I'm not really exposing it. I mean, I was there one time when it when it happened, but and he knows I was there. So he, he knows I was there the when, he, when, he, when he, But it's just like <laughs> my thing is I've always tried to support the brothers in the game because we all come from like the same background, yeah, and right. have the same struggles and stuff like that. But it's like some of these dudes have never shown any support for me. They have never defended me. They've never backed me. They've they've never come to a fight. And he's one of them niggas. He's never like when I when I won a fighter, beat Savannah, went across the country. He wasn't somebody like, oh, congrats to the quote. He he don't say congrats. He right. don't say good job. You know what I'm saying? But then it's he, like, but as soon as it's something negative to say, you the most outspoken. But like when it's all these positive accomplishments i'm doing it's like but it's it i think what you said earlier may may be like true he it may be he may feel some type of way like you got a lot of accolades that he haven't touched yet realistically so it could be some truth and a lot of men do be jealous of women child so oh super intimidated but he don't yeah. gotta be intimidated by me i'm in the women's division <laughs> no they ain't gonna say it but they show it Sometimes they be a little jealous. Yeah, well, he don't need to be. He don't need to be jealous. He need to be jealous of Shakur. But you're doing good. I'm proud of you. You putting on for the women and especially the black women. Hello. So yeah. Period. We, we proud of you. We support you. You know that. I appreciate that. Um, girl, I I thank you for your support. And I'm about to go. Like I'm about to get on here with one more person, and then I'm gonna clean this on up. Okay. Thank All you. Right, Uh, what's up, uh, Fino Boxing? Yo, Chan, how's it going? Good. Thank you for the time. What are your, what are your thoughts, real quick? You know, obviously now you're you know outside of you know making history in, in boxing. Like mm -hmm. those th those jams you're dropping, as far as like your rap, your rapping. Like I mean, it's, yeah. it's levels. Like you're doing a great job. So Thank I you. Hear I want to hear your thoughts on the whole beef going on between Kendrick and, and Drake. What are, what are your thoughts on that matchup between the two? You know what? I haven't really been able it, it like the fight weekend just passed with um with Canelo. So I was really wrapped into all that with the with the fights and stuff. So I haven't even really I've listened to I think Euphoria and I've listened to one Drake dropped. And and they both been going hard. Yeah. Um I don't know who's winning because I haven't been able to follow it. Like, okay, he said this and then the next one. Because it's like so many. Like, I think Kendrick dropped something that was 19 minutes. Like, who's going to listen to something <laughs> that's 19 minutes? That's crazy. Yeah, I haven't listened to that 19 minutes. But obviously, you know, it's getting heated between the two. So we'll see where it goes. Are you going to be dropping any any more diss tracks, you know, for the future? You know, you know what? Um, I got a, I got a fight coming up in a little bit. But that's usually when I write my raps when I'm when I'm in camp when I'm when I'm locked in. So yeah, um, I have a song that I've already done. I just got a mix and master called "We Got It," and I want to drop that with the video and everything. I just got to find the time, you know, uh, staying on top and being the best female fighter, and then also fighting in MMA is very time consuming. And so trying to be a rapper and, a, and an entertainer on top of that can just be a bit much. And I got so much so many other things out like outside the ring, you know, going on like like my movie about my life is coming out this summer. No way. Um yeah, it's uh MGM uh picked up my life story and got a whole movie about it. So it's so many things that's coming up that I gotta be involved in. So music you know, congratulations I was seeing all your achievements. I remember covering your first fight uh against you know Franchon Cruz uh I remember you telling Sergey Kovalev, "Oh, one day you fight on my undercar." Do you remember that? I rem I remember telling Kovalev that he belongs in the kitchen and I don't belong in the kitchen because <laughs> that's what he, when I showed him my two Olympic gold medals and he yeah. said, "What for?" and I said, "Boxing." And he was like, "Oh, women don't belong in the ring; they belong in the kitchen." And when he said that, I I said, "Hey, now mm -hmm. you you belong in the kitchen. I don't belong in the kitchen." And um, I don't know Kovalov's achievements, but I know he ain't have thirteen world titles, so I'm blowing him in the so I'm blowing him in the dust too. Yeah, now nah, he's 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 making a comeback. He's fighting June first in, in Saudi Arabia on the undercard. Oh you know, man, we'll, we'll, we'll see I am, where he goes. I am hoping that the guys 
in Saudi pick up women's boxing. There's so many great fights to be made. And we just need to be that, paid. Yeah. We need to be, yeah. be paid. And, you know, we need to get some of that money too, you know, and we're willing to have the best fights. And I'm hoping that, you know, I can be, you know, one of the women that I already fought MMA over there. I'm hoping I can fight uh, boxing over there. Who will be that that perfect opponent? You know, let's say if uh, if you know his excellency calls you like, oh, Carissa, you know, who who will be that fight that you've been like, this is the one that they will take me to, to Saudi and and headline over there in the Middle East. Um, you know, I think a fight with me and Chris Cyborg at fifty four. I think a fight with um me and the rematch between me and Savannah Marshall. Um, great matchups. I'm trying to think, a fight with me and French Hahn, you know. Um, yeah. We got a rematch. I don't know when, but we do. You think it's going to take place? I mean, you guys are, like, you know, best friends in a sense. You guys fight each other, made your party beauty against each other. Like, I there's would, a lot of so, history in between you, Tyke, but you guys respect each other's game. Yeah, you know what? Um, I want to say that me and French are best friends. We are close, but we have, like, this underlying understanding that it's, like, it's still about boxing. Like, we don't like like basically we're team each other until it's us versus each other, if that makes sense. It makes sense, makes sense for sure. What yeah, so gonna... we're not we're not BFFs. I don't but we do love and care and respect each other a whole lot. And but I've beat French on three times in the amateurs and beat her one time in the pros. So of course anytime that we fight, I know that she's always gonna be thinking about that and she wants to get a W over me. So it's always gonna be one of those highly competitive rough fights and still to this day i feel like she gave me my toughest fight in the pros wow she, she's definitely you know i mean she's making history herself you know she's she's uh she's doing great you know obviously as far as like capturing titles and things like that but i wanted to get your thoughts on, on the whole obviously pd testing with ryan garcia we don't know exactly when the b sample is going to get tested what the results right are going to be. hold on can but... you say that again we don't know exactly when the b sample is going to get tested so why is tank on here oh what are you going to say now about ryan proving his innocence? he has not proven his innocence yeah exactly. what are you we talking don't... about but if, if if it does come back positive should should ryan garcia be banned from boxing so that's what i don't understand is if it comes back positive, what does that, I mean, does that mean that he was intentionally doping or an accident? Like, I mean, does it matter about how much he had in his system? Like, I just have so many questions because I don't look at Ryan Garcia as a cheater. I think he's a very sweet kid and mm -hmm. is going through things mentally, but I just don't think that he would, I don't know. I just don't think that he would, but it's, I mean, it's clearly in his system, I guess, and he got to get the testing done. He got to, he got to, you know, prove his innocence. But as far as him being banned, I feel like it should definitely be harder restrictions. I mean, harder punishments for, punishments, yeah. yeah, for you know, yeah. being dirty. Like we're yeah. all responsible for what we put in our bodies, especially if we do it intentionally, you know what I'm saying? Up on accident, mm -hmm. it still should be like a year suspension or a year and a half suspension. If you do it on purpose, I feel like it should be longer, three years, five years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, something because it's really fighters that die out here and it's not yeah. a game. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like when Devin was fighting Ryan, I was probably the only one that said it, but or or maybe more, but I was like, man, I feel terrible. I feel like, you know, his dad should throw on a towel because I've never seen Devin be overmatched like that. Like he was in there getting, man, he was getting whooped. I agree with you that. You know, much respect to to Devin. You know, he kept getting yeah, uh, a lot of heart. But he's yeah, tough it, as it, hell. He's yeah, tough I mean, as hell. Of, but yeah. to get knocked down three times and then mm -hmm. and then to get shook with the first hook, I was like, ain't no way. This shit crazy. Yeah, that was that was something else. Obviously, when when Ryan landed that that first left hook and he dropped him, I'm like, okay, Jesus, like, what's going on? I mean, we know Ryan has that power, but the fact that it happened that quickly, yeah, he do. I think it just surprised everyone in the arena. Obviously, you were there at Barclays as well. But also, too, it's like it surprised Devin, and Devin has been inside the ring with Ryan six times. You know, there's been some people like Gabe Rosado, other people who have have talked to on camera. Uh, they were a little critical for the adjustments that, that Bale and Devin weren't making. 
do you think that maybe like having a different voice in the corner would have played a different role or maybe Devin would have changed his game plan a little bit into the, you know, the middle and later rounds? I honestly think that, um, I, I think that Devin underestimated Ryan because all the antics, sometimes when you got all that stuff going on in the fight, you know, you got, oh, you got press conferences and you got somebody acting crazy and all the news articles and all the videos are like, oh, look at his mental health. He shouldn't fight. Oh, he's going crazy. He's losing it. He's on Twitter every day tweeting the most craziest things. And I think, and then it's also trash talk. So I think that with all that, I think Devin may have just took his eye off the ball. And I don't think that uh, him or Bill really had a game plan. I think the game plan was, of course, not to get hit with his best punch. But, I mean, when you go on in the first round, you thinking about trying to establish your jab and – you know, figure out what your opponent game plan is. So I think for him to get hit with that hook in the first round and for it to cause so much damage that it really just uh, surprised him and just, you know, mess with him mentally. And I, and I don't know, um, you know, Showtime has some called trainer tracks. I don't know if they were like um, showing like what if, if Bill was given instruction or not mm -hmm. in the corner. Cause I was, cause I was doing a, um, the, the hosting for the commentary so i wasn't able to up at home you can see certain stuff but i wasn't able to see what um bill was actually telling devin but i know yes, devin is one of the smartest fighters that i've seen and he's very defensive and it just seemed like he had no defense and he had mm -hmm. no answers the night when they fought yeah, we never seen that that Devin Haney uh, fight like that, you know, in his uh, twenty, you know, twenty thirty uh, professional fights. I never seen Devin like that from For the sure. get go. From the get go. Now, lastly, champ. Obviously, you announced that you're going to return in July. Do you know who who uh, who's on the target list? What I know, last time you fought, obviously, you know, being going back home in in, in Flint. You know, are we gonna, you know, the West Coast in LA? Are we gonna see closer shows anytime soon? Uh. I fought in Detroit at the LCA. I had 12 fans come out my last boxing match. Um, I I, I want to fight at T-Mobile, and I want to fight on the West Coast. I just have to – I don't know. I think I have to have the right opponent mm -hmm. and just keep building my brand up. But I think it's coming. It's coming yeah, soon. I, Maybe I, I end of the year. Yeah. But July will definitely be uh, up here, Michigan. Ohio yeah. somewhere up here and then um uh, maybe in November when I fight again you know maybe I can get Savannah I'm trying to get Savannah to the U.S. and I want to fight against her in a rematch so with me being an undisputed champ at 60 and I beat her already um I would love to fight her at T-Mobile Arena in Vegas so Ooh. that's a dream of mine that'll be a great fight that'll be a great fight obviously the first one you know you going over to the UK show you know what kind of you know man to mental, mentally believe in yourself and obviously you were the better fighter that night uh, do you recall that your last time you fought in L.A., it was in Carson. It was the last HBO match, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, was, fought right? in, yeah. I fought in L.A. It was the last HBO fight. I was the, was it the co-main event? You were the co-main event, yeah, to Cecilia Breakles, who, never, uh, to be honest, never wanted that smoke. Yeah, never that. I went all the way down to 154 because she caught me fat and she still <laughs> wanted to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> We had you guys face off at the press conference, trying to get that going, but obviously, you know that you know Cecilia just went back home to uh, to overseas. Yeah, I think but. she's here in the states uh, in Michigan, actually training with uh, what's that coach name? Uh, he was under huh? Jonathan something. Uh, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Banks. Banks. Jonathan Banks. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, the Triple G uh, the yeah. trainer. Okay, yeah, I think she's here up. in Michigan training with him. Yeah, she never wanted that smoke. Obviously, you know. Um, but it is what I don't it is. blame her. She lost to Jessica McCaskill. And I don't think Jessica McCaskill is I mean, she has proven herself against some fighters, but I don't think Jessica McCaskill was that good at all. Like she's tough and she's rough, but as far as in boxing, I'm like, oh my God, this girl is hard to watch. But she do come forward kind of like a Christy Martin style. It makes it tough for girls, but I even called her out too. Yeah. But if I do go to 47, it'll be for some belts, you know, and I would really force myself to get down there for some belts, but to do it just for bragging rights to a girl who don't even deserve to be inside the ring with me is just stupid. I hear you. Makes sense. Obviously, you know, if, you know, if you're gonna make the sacrifice, it needs to uh, be beneficial for you at the end of the day. You know, money wise and, and belt wise. Right. 
Exactly. Well, Chris, I know it's late over there back in the East Coast. Thank you so much for the time. Uh, it was cool to t- chat with you, and I'll catch you at the next one. All right, for sure. Thank you, Go. Yep. Peace. All right, y'all. It's been fun. I'm about to get ready and go to bed. Peace. I have to delete my tweets because I don't want to get cussed up by my publicist when she get up in the morning because I shouldn't respond to the little dude. But this is all I got to say about that. Take it. Run with it.